gonna show you how we assembled our Zugo Rhino bike. It's definitely helpful to have two people putting it together because it's heavy and the process goes smoother with more hands. The total process took us about an hour, both times. We got my Zugo Rhino step through the week prior, so this time assembling the bike, we figured we'd help the next generation of Zugo bike owners by making this video. Step one, unbox the bike. Set aside the tire, the box, the fender, and the headlight box. Keep ripping off all the foam. Now, open the more rectangular shaped box and grab the toolkit. This has all the tools you'll need to assemble your Zugo bike. Bonus tip, plug in your battery right now, so it'll be charged when you've fully assembled your bike. So first, open the charger at the bottom of that box, cut off the key from the handlebars, unlock the battery, and plug in your battery so it'll be ready to ride. Step two, install the handlebars. Be sure to put them in the right way and up into the minimum insertion line. When you tighten them, go from one to another. Step three, install the front wheel. Make sure the disc is on the left side of the bike if you're sitting on it or the right side if you're facing it. Also make sure you have the washer on the outside and then tighten the screw and the nut. Step four, attach the brake caliper. Undo the two bolts that are more loose on the front facing side. Slide the caliper along the disc, line up the two bolts and tighten it. The caliper should not rub on the disc. You're gonna wanna check the alignment. Lift up the bike and if it looks like or if it sounds like it's rubbing, you'll need to readjust. Loosen the bolts. Note which bolts, not the two you just put on. It's helpful if one partner tightens the brake while the other is screwing in the bolt. Step five, install the pedals. Note which is the left and right. If there's not a sticker, be sure you can read the manufacturer name if you were to be sitting on the bike. Use the wrench and tighten. Step six, install the headlight. Note which side is the top. There's these circles on the plastic that are at the top. So remove the washer, slide it inside on both sides and tighten it. Step seven, install the front fender. We actually forgot to do this as the second step, but it still worked. So Mark noticed that the pegs were too far apart and so he needed to wedge the pieces together to make it fit the screw size. 
so remove the bolt on the frame that's just above the front wheel. Slide the fender in with the smaller bit facing forward and larger facing back. Before tightening it, make sure the front is a little higher than the back. Step eight, install the rear foot pegs. Pull out the screws that are already on the frame. When tightening it, you'll need to have your friend hold it straight because you want these pretty tight. Step nine, install the back rack. Be sure the battery is removed because the nut on the top screw will need to get into that space. Put the top screw in first. Remember the washer and nut and tighten it. Next, install the right and left screws with washers taking turns tightening to make sure the alignment is still able to fit the battery. Step 10, operating the bike. First, install your charged battery. Note, you do not need the key to put in the battery just to take it out. Be sure the power button is on the battery is on. Hold the power button on the bike handle to turn the bike on. The plus sign levels up the control assist. The minus sign levels down the control assist. If you tap the power button, the light will turn on and off. You are now ready to ride. Bonus, unlock the speed. Hold down the M till four zeros display. Press the M to move to the second digit. Now press the plus sign till it hits six. Press the M button to move to the fourth digit and press the plus sign till it hits six. The display will show pass seven, which means you've unlocked the speed up to 25 miles per hour. We are stoked about these bikes. They were pretty straightforward to put together and we enjoy the style and the design of both the step through and the regular Rhino. Watch our first ride video and hit subscribe to watch more.